Right, so just to start off this video, a little pro tip here. If you're going to do what I'm doing right now, make a video, uh, and then make another video to put over top of that other video, uh, don't bother, especially if you're going to turn the volume off. Don't bother turning the volume off on every single one of the videos because you have to go into, at least for my software, you have to go in individually each video, turn it off, just make the video, save it all, that way when you have it all together at the end, you only have to turn the audio off once and you have the entire thing off instead of doing it for every single clip. So that's a little pro tip for all of you. Right, so today we're going to be going through my chest day. So I did this one on the weekend. It's my technical off day. Um, it's an off day or chest day. So because I choose in my eyes that my chest is lacking in a little bit, uh, I decided to go and hit chest every Sunday. So right here we did bench. Started off with, uh, you know, normal to bar, plate, plate 25. I uh, didn't record my first set of plate 25, recorded my plate 35, which I got for 4, which is actually pretty good for me. Um, was hoping to get a double with two plates, but as you can see here, the rep looked pretty hard, so I thought it was probably best not to do a double. Um, if you're watching the form here, there's a slight arc in the back, especially here with the plate 25. So you can see, I don't do a huge powerlifter form, so I don't, my form's not amazing but it uh, gets the job done for sure. So those all, all pretty much felt good. Because it's my own chest day, I don't follow a, a program for it, so I just usually go heavier because my other chest day has a, a, lot of, a lot of volume in it. Next here is incline dumbbells. I don't do this on my uh, other chest day, so I'll put it in here. If you see here on my chest, you can see it really kind of opening up the bottom and contracting a lot at the top. That's because I'm turning my wrists inward towards each other, my pinkies in, at the top of every rep. Now what this is doing is, um, if you do it, you'll feel in like a significant squeeze on the inside of your chest, and that's kind of the idea with this, as well as on incline, so you're hitting more of the upper and getting a good squeeze on like the inside, which I find is uh, good for also development. Next here is an inclined barbell. On this, you can see I don't really have an arch in my back because if I did, I would be basically flat bench pressing. So the idea, for me at least, is to keep the uh, my back fairly flat on the pad. At the same time, uh, can, retracting my scapula a little bit, your shoulder blades, bringing them back together just a little bit. If you do it too much, I find uh, it just turns into a full shoulder exercise and hits my front delts way too much. Um, also, the idea is to bring it pretty high up, basically to your clavicle, which is your collarbone. Clavicle is just the technical name. And I was doing about sets of 10, I think. Um, nothing special, doing a few pause reps here and there, just to feel an extra squeeze. Next was the pack deck, that's what we call it around here. Um, as you can see, pretty much going full stretch all the way to uh, parallel with my body, if not even slightly further. Um, making sure to fully come to the inside and squeeze hard. You can see here the development that it's helped me with with my chest. Definitely like a lot of the inside areas that um, a lot of people have trouble with. Here's a better angle for everyone to see. The idea that I do here is I lean forward on the pad. I don't sit back and I like to just pull off it forward, that way I can activate a little more of the upper area of my chest and a little less of the lower area of the pecs. At least, that's how I feel it. So, the way that I do it like this, and I'm sure if all of you go out there and try it, you'll be able to see the big difference in how it affects your chest based off how you sit on the pad. Lastly here we did cable flies from high. So the idea with this is bending over a decent amount, not too much, pretty all the way full stretch to your boat, even with your shoulders, and then all the way into your knuckles or boat touching. Uh, this is really good for building your chest, also really good ender in my opinion, good for volume. It's not really a point in going heavy on this, like super heavy, because you'll just bang up your shoulders, which uh, I've done before, so take my advice, don't go too heavy. 
And if you are going to decide to go on the heavier side, don't go too far in the stretch because uh, bad things can happen to your shoulders. And the last thing you want is a shoulder injury. So here you can see how much I'm leaning forward. I walk away from the machine a couple steps, just enough so I can get full stretch and not have to worry about touching the machines. And that's it. That was my chest day. A uh, pretty short one as far as some workouts go. Probably only about an hour and a half, hour 45. A lot of my workouts these days are closer to the three hour mark, if not even a little more if I add in, you know, things like core and forearms and traps. Stuff like that that's not in my daily program. So that's what I did. All those things. Hopefully you learned something in this video that you can apply to your next workout. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, gonna keep changing it up. Probably keep making different videos, different workouts, stuff like that for you guys all to see. Um, hopefully you enjoy these, these type of videos. If you do, make sure to leave a like and comment letting me know that you enjoy these and that you want to see more. And if you want to, leave a comment saying what body part you'd like to see me do next. Specialize, like, uh, what type of thing, like a volume leg day, heavy leg day, big shoulders. I already did that one, actually. You can check that out in my last videos. Or if you want to see something like, I don't know, bigger arms, which I've done similar stuff like that, you can check out, but I haven't really talked about it too much in the video. Or in my past videos, I should say. So, yeah, let me know. I'm planning on doing some food videos in the future, probably in the next week or two. Be, uh, I'll be making a video about some type of food. You guys will just have to come back to check that out and see what it was. I have a pretty good idea of what it's going to be, so stay tuned. Like I said, hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, leave a comment what you want to see in another video, and subscribe. Helps me out. I love seeing new subscribers. I check my, uh, check my page almost every day. Actually, I check it every single day, sometimes multiple times a day. Just to check, see if I got any subscribers, because subscribers get me excited. And they get me hyped up to make new videos and to get new, more following, and uh, yeah. Subscribe.